if people can't see this, they don't care. Underwater, there's no room for sitting there and having a chat for half an hour. We can't do that. We need a plan. Most of the wrecks I've dived have had some sort of net rope on them. Um, a net was reported by Plymouth Sound Bezac um, and they gave us actually a really detailed report which was fantastic with marks. So we dropped the divers in on the known points. Um, they then split off into two teams and surveyed the net that they found. Team one missed it, team two hit it. So we were like, right, bang, we know where it is. The chances are of getting tangled are quite high if you're not particularly aware of what's going on around you. They marked it, so then we took marks off that and used it as a shot line. So the meaning of ghost fishing, the term, uh, it refers to lost or abandoned fishing gear. So that can be pots, it can be nets or lines. And what it does is it continues to fish after it's been lost. So this stuff is designed to catch fish, it's designed to catch crustaceans. But when it's lost, it continues to, to catch even though it's not being monitored. So that's kind of where the word ghost comes from. I'm a marine biologist from my degree and by profession I'm a commercial diver. So if you combine the two, it's nice to help out by putting my dive skills to work. All the divers here are here voluntarily. That was it, all of it. The majority of what we pull out of the nets is crabs. So obviously, being the way they are, they see the net as a bit of structure that they can hide in, crawl into it and get trapped. And then if one dies in there, the smell will attract more and more and it's just a self-repeating cycle. make sure our divers always have cameras so we can show people what's happening below the surface of the sea. If we're shooting video footage and photographs um, of this stuff actually being caught and being killed in the sea, um, it has a much bigger impact on, on public awareness, I think. We have very specific animals that live in Plymouth Sound in the southwest, pink sea fans, and also we have major fisheries down here and we don't know the impact that a ghost net has. Gradually we're building this Ghost Fishing UK community of capable and competent divers um, that can safely bring up, bring up this ghost gear. We've got half a dozen divers on today that come through our training process and it seems to be working. We've got only a certain amount of time and a certain amount of gas to do it and they absolutely smashed it today so it was really successful.